Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Here again I have a basic room. Um, I'm going to show you how you can see the pad from the pad notes. It's pretty easy actually. Well here you can see I have a couple of pad notes. Well you actually click on your uh, window, uh, right mouse, go to view and then show pad. This will actually show the pad uh, zombies will follow. You have two different colors. Uh, blue is for uh, smaller NPCs and uh, the green one are for larger NPCs. Just uh, go to open, go to killing floor folder, uh, mapping guide, trader example. Now I will show you what you have to copy for your trader for your map. Uh, you have a couple of zones, volumes. Uh, this is actually a blocking volume which you don't really need because your trader will probably look different than the original one. So what you will need, uh, uh, these are all blocking volumes so you don't need that. Uh, you need the big one, this is actually a shopping volume. We will need this one. We will need a door. So shopping volume, door and you can also copy the NPC uh, trader, the female. You just click it, oh I clicked the light, but you have to click the MC, just click it like this. And then just control C, go to your map. Uh, it's called copy map. And then you just control V in your map. That's basically how you do it. So now you have a, a trader, which actually will point out to your uh, trader. So once you put it into location, you actually have to make a room for it, but you already know how to do this. So I won't be going into detail how you do it, I will just uh, fast forward it so you can still see how I did it. Size for my door, it's just a sample door, you actually have to make it a lot smaller if you want to make it uh, nicely. Uh, I'm just gonna find a stupid texture, like this one, doesn't really matter for my tutorial, so. Uh, place it into a place, put it into place, subtract, then now we need to make a door so we need to add uh, uh, the same size, uh, add, uh, cover to static mesh, uh, we want to copy the wall so you don't see where the trader is, it's like a hidden uh, trader, ok just name it anything you want, now we're going to go to the, uh, the official door, to the options, go to display, uh, find static uh, mesh and change it to your static mesh. Uh, you have to select your static mesh which I, which I forgot to do. So now we just do it again, display, static mesh, use. Now the door will actually be your door, so you actually have your own trader door right now. The reason that the uh, different textures on the other size is because uh, the official map has a skin on it, so you have to remove that to see your texture, which now should be uh, the block, the the editor texture. So we we'll just put it into place. Once you have done that. It doesn't really fit, I don't really understand why, because I didn't change anything. Oh well, we just changed the door for now then. Just change the size of the wall, it doesn't really matter that much. You can always uh, scale the static mesh also, but I don't really recommend it. Or you can just make your own uh, KF uh, trader door, which also works. Ok, once you have done that, we uh, have to make a mover uh, key base, so key 1 is uh, closed, key uh, w I mean key 0 is closed, key 1 is should be open, so we're going to make it slide uh, upwards, so we're just going to make it like this, put it into place, and there you have it, 
put it back to zero and it should be stay on location. Now we are going to look at the, uh, the options event, the straight example door, as you can see. Uh, I don't really need to change anything here. Now we're going to the shopping volume, and you can actually see that the the event is trade example door, and the door is tag a trade example door. So we're going to go to shopping volume. As you can see, there is trade example teleport, which I obviously forgot to copy. Well, first we will make a room. Just I'll just make a big room for this. You can uh, now we're going to scale the shopping volume. Make sure you don't uh, actually go uh, beyond the door because otherwise people will be able to trade uh, at this trader every round. So you can go actually outside uh, the room, but uh, only go outside where players are not able to uh, get through it from the other side, from inside the map. now we are going to open the trader uh, example map again because we forgot to copy the teleporter once the trader is closed uh, people will teleport to so just take one of the teleporters you only need one since you can just duplicate it uh, multiple times just copy one to your map A copy map I call it just uh, control V into your map once you have found it uh, just put it into place uh, scale it a bit down okay then you can just duplicate it you can see that the event tag is uh, the trader okay now your yeah, everything is okay we can just duplicate the the teleporter multiple times you can see that the tag is also the door like this yeah Okay, now we're just gonna duplicate the, the teleporter with Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D six times usually, because uh, six is the maximum, the maximal uh, amount of players killing for supports. And then just build all. And there you have your first trader. If you want to make another trader, you can just copy everything from the shopping volume, the room. If you want to make the exact uh, same. Uh, trader you can just copy everything but all you have to do is just re uh, put uh, like a, a different name in front of everything for for example let's say uh, trader uh, 2 you call this trader 2 for uh, everything uh, it's uh, pretty easy actually uh, I will fast forward this but you can see actually where I put uh, 2 and uh, everything so for the L from the shop volume till the door uh, event of course and tag okay now you have your traders uh, this is the end of the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it